When I was a little kid, I was told the story of the Titanic, a giant ship at the turn of the century that sunk and killed 1,500 people on its first voyage. Never again would humans make such a mistake and build a ship so big. Years later, I learned that there are passenger ships that have been built since then that are bigger. Much, much bigger. The first passenger ship to make regular trips across the Atlantic was the RMS Royal William at 1,370 tons. In 1874, the RMS Britannia was 5,000 tons. The RMS Lusitania was 32,000 tons. The RMS Titanic was the largest ship of its kind at 46,000 tons in 1912. It took only 20 years to make a larger ship. At twice the size, the SS Normandy, 83,000 tons. Ships didn't get larger until the late 1990s, when Carnival operated the first passenger ship over 100,000 tons. In 2004, the RMS Queen Mary II was 148,000 tons. Currently, the MS Oasis of the Seas weighs 225,000 tons tons. This is the original size of the Titanic. There are 60 passenger ships over 100,000 tons in use today. Another 35 are under construction and one, the Costa Concordia, is currently listed out of service. Today the Titanic would be considered a relatively small ship if anyone were to try to build it again, but no one would do that. Or would they? A billionaire businessman is building a replica of the Titanic. Listen to the One Minute History podcast for more about the Titanic.